My name is Catherine Alibri Frame, and I am president and co-founder of the International Foundation for CDKL5 Research. So CDKL5, it's uh, there's no proper name for it. It's, it stands for cyclin-dependent kinase like five. It's a very kind of sterile name for a disorder that affects babies and our children are born perfect and healthy and something goes terribly wrong and they're missing a protein in their brain and that leads to very severe and intractable seizures that begin in the first few weeks of life. And because of those seizures and because of the medications that these children have to be on, their lives from that point forward are difficult, very painful, uh, at times isolating, and they struggle every single day. They have daily seizures, daily multiple seizures. They have uh, severe cognitive and uh, physical uh, challenges. Most of them cannot walk, talk, feed themselves. Most of them can't hold a toy to play with. Um, many of them don't laugh or smile or make eye contact with their parents. And so many of them have trouble with their gastrointestinal system. Many require feeding tubes. Um, a number of our children have severe scoliosis, and because of the scoliosis, they have breathing problems. And so this is a devastating disorder that starts with one organ system and involving epilepsy that really leads to just catastrophic uh, you know, physical challenges for these children. And despite that, our children are the most beautiful, happy, precious, sweetest children, and the parents that have a child with CDKL5 will do anything to help those children. And so all of us coming together, we've, uh, there's strength in numbers, and we have committed to each other that we're going to work together, and we are going to do what we can to help our children. And, um, and our foundation was started, and there are other foundations as well uh, that have spun off from our foundation that are also working hard across the globe. This is an international effort, and we're not going to rest until we have some options for our children. Our foundation was started in 2009, and we were able to quickly identify the kinds of things that we needed to do as the basis for all research to build on. And so we really put into place some of the key building blocks, such as animal models, cell lines, a patient database registry, and natural history study. And as a direct result of this conference last year, we started two CDKL5 centers of excellence in the United States and with plans for more. And uh, because of the research that we've already done and the groundwork that we've laid, we've actually been able to identify two different compounds that are now about to be trialed in the mice as well as the cell lines that we have. And we've worked with, we've, we've been able to um, utilize the research efforts of other organizations that have used this compound or these compounds. And uh, we've been very fortunate enough that there's very strong promise for these compounds to work. And so after the trials are done in the mice and the cells, in the next 12 months or so, there's a very good chance we'll go into clinical.